everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these little gift bags. They're perfect for putting in the stock in, nice under the tree, table favours, all that kind of thing. They're just a great size, so it's not just for Christmas. You can use this for birthdays, all kinds of occasions. But I've used these sweet little images, which I got from the... Let me bring it in here. I've already got that ready to go. So this, so this is from issue 196 of Papercraft Inspirations. I did share it in one of my What Did I Get videos and um, yeah, I've been wanting to use it for a while. So I've already gone ahead and done these ones here. Now you can make these, you don't have to draw onto, or you know, or color onto the cardstock. You can decorate these however you want. That's how it would look. Okay, so it's just blank, you know, unless you're gonna use pattern paper, then, you know, I know many of you will do it very differently, but I just wanted to show you two ways of fastening it as well. So one I've got here is just a couple of hole punches, um, hole punched holes, and then just closed with a ribbon there. And then this one here, I've just used one of these nice kind of bulldog clips. It does leave an impression on there, but again, I'm not too worried about that. I always say with these things, eventually they just go in the bin anyway. So yeah, it's just really sweet. So it's just a really nice way to fasten it and just to give you some more ideas. I've got everything I need here. Very, very few supplies. So it's just a piece of cardstock. Let me grab my scoreboard. So this card here is a piece of 10 and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And along the ten and a quarter side, you want to score at two and seven eighths of an inch, four and seven eighths of an inch, seven and three quarters, and nine and three quarters. Okay, and then rotate it, and you want to score along the eight and a quarter side at two inches. And that's all the scoring you need to do. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the stamp set. If you aren't going to do any colouring or stamping on your cardstock and yours is maybe using pattern paper, then just fast forward now to the construction part. Okay, so it's entirely up to you what panel you want to colour in. So you've got this main panel here or you've got this main panel here. This one and this one are the sides. You can do this one if you would like to have stuff kind of overhanging onto the sides, so you can stamp over. You'll see mine here, I don't, I've got, well, a tiny bit there, but generally it's all within that panel. So I'm sticking with this one here. So I'm not gonna do anything in them. Now, if you're worried that you may stamp or you might get ink onto anything like this, then just cover up that section. Okay, so you're just working on that panel, but I haven't, you know, done so. I found it okay to um, do it like this. And then with this stamp set, so I'm actually going to do this setup a little bit differently. So I've already gone ahead and done these little gloves and the hot chocolate. And you'll see that here. So you've got the hot chocolate, you've got the little gloves or the mittens there. And then I've also stamped the ears and I've coloured those. And then these sentiments are what you get in the little kit that came with it. You also got cards. I just, it, they weren't really for me. I prefer using it this way or, you know, to make the shape of the little kind of, you know, critter. Then I, you know, I'd rather do that myself. But you also get, so it was Christmas wishes and then happy holidays. Okay, so you see I've used the Christmas on the top there, just broken them down a bit. And then I just stamped a, a you know, um, yeah, the mug, and then I, for those I stamped just presents, just multiple present stamps, and just cut them out, and just thought it looked really cute. To get the little arms, you don't have to have this stamp set again, you know, see, you might have something where you've got eyes, and you could just draw some eyes in, you know, just have a little look at what you've got, but on the back they do give you these templates, so just with some vellum, I just drew around that one there, and then just cut it out, and then I will draw around that on you know whatever cardstock I decide to use. It's probably gonna be white and I'm gonna color it again. But you also get the collar here, so you can have a little elf collar. You've got hair if you do want to add hair in, but I'm just keeping them as they are. You've also got the little envelope there that you can have with the mittens, but I thought I'm gonna have the little mittens like that and then the mug kind of, you know, wrapped around like so. In fact, I might not even need to cut the hands out, but you can see how I've done it there. So you'll see how that's just one of those, and it's just stuck a little bit around the back there. Actually, it's that way, like so. All right, it's really easy to use. Those glasses also came with the kit. You only got one, but you can stamp glasses, which I'm gonna do. And then I've also added some glossy accents on the glasses and on the ears there, just to, and on the ends of the nose. I just thought there were nice little details to add. So I wanna position this bit here roughly 
about there because I'm just thinking the scarf's going to be just above and then the face and everything so you just need to start positioning it where you are because I know a couple of you have emailed me to say that you've got this stamp set um, you know and you know you've already made the cards that were in the kit but you wanted to see what I was going to do with it so I think I'm going to come down because I still want to add the scarf as well so let's get that one in first so I think I'm going to end up bringing this down a little bit lower the scarf will sit yeah so if I just lay the scarf down there take that away so I quite like where that's positioned so the scarf's going to go there and then the face will be there maybe a little bit further again about there and the reason I've done this size gift box is because I've worked around this stamp set so you'll see the width of this fits perfectly within that panel but now that will go over the scarf I'll do the scarf the same colours and that should all work quite nicely. So if you'd rather use a stamping platform for this, then obviously do so. I'm just going to do it freehand, but I'm also going to use the little pom-pom to go on the top of the hat. The ears I've already done separately. The mug I've done. You've also got the drinks, like, little thing there. What's that called? Why is it gone from my head? Cup. <laughs> and you've got a little bell that you could pop on the edge. Oh, I want to do the glasses as well. Okay, so let's pop all that to one side. I'm just going to grab my ink. Okay, so because I'm going to colour in colour pencil, I'm just using my Versafine. I'm not too worried. If you're going to use alcohol markers, just make sure you select the right ink. So I'm going to, first of all, do the face. So I'll just get that one inked up. There we go. I'm happy with that. Remove that one. And then I'll do the scarf. There we go. Like I said, I don't mind if that goes off just a little bit, that's okay. And then I'm going to do the glasses and then finish with the pom-pom. In fact, I'll use the smaller. Okay. So now, it doesn't really look much at the minute, but once we start to shape it and bring in the colour, it should all start to come together nicely. Okay, so I've just got a selection of my coloured pencils, so I'm going to start playing around and seeing what kind of colour I want to do my bear. I think I might go more of a grey. I'm saying bear, that's kind of what it reminds me of, but I think I'm going to do a grey one this time. So I'm going to pop the video on high speed, just relax, sit back, watch my quick colouring, and then I'll be back to show you how to construct it all. Okay, so I've done all the colouring, I'm really happy with the shading and everything and then I've just popped some foam tabs behind the gloves here. I've actually just curved them a little bit so they've got a bit of 3D shape and I've just glued them on the ends there and then I've put some foam underneath the little mug there as well. I've stuck the ears down and I've just highlighted a few areas with my white Posca pen and then once I put it all together I will... Uh, put some of the glossy accents just on the glasses and things like that. It's best to do that when it's all done. You can do it before, but then you just got to wait a bit longer. But now I can start putting it together. It's really, really quick. So, and like I said, unless you're, um, you know, doing the colouring, then obviously that takes some time. But otherwise, it's really, really fast. So just fold and burnish those score lines. And then we're just going to do a little bit of cutting. So I've coloured a bit there, but you're not going to see that. But you just want to cut up 
along the bottom here to that first score line. So you've got that little tab on the right hand side. And I'm just going to cut up this one and then rotate and just snip that off on a little angle there and I'm just going to snip off a little wedge at the top of that one. So now you will have this. Okay, next you want to add some glue along there. So I'm just using some of my Cosmic Shimmer Glue all the way down the side. And then bring all this around. If you just fold that one down and fold this whole piece over, it will line up perfectly. Okay, so just spend a minute, make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, so now you have something like this. And then on the bottom, so the one on the front here is going to be the last one I stick down. So I'm going to stick the back down first. Just going to pop some glue on the sides of these two here. So I'll pop one in, pop the other one, and then pop some glue on that one, and then close that one up. Turn it over, and just with a ruler, just going to go in there and just make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, so that's all done, and then you just want to push in the sides. If you would rather score, you can, but you know, the idea of these is that it's just something you can put together quite quickly. You'll see there you start to get this really nice shape. Just make sure you keep everything lined up. Then I've just got some clips here. So I've got some more of those ones. But because I've gone more grey and black with my colouring, I think I'm going to use one of these big black bulldog clips on the top. Hmm, maybe not. See, maybe a red one. Um, got more I've got loads of these okay I haven't got the larger sizes that I thought so maybe I'll do a little gold one well you get the idea you might see me play around with this as a silver one there actually oh maybe that one's nicer once I put some because with this one because I've gone down, gone higher my holidays is not going to stick there so I may well stick it onto the clip put some ribbon just dress it up it's you know once I put a little gift tag on this I may change it up a bit different but um, otherwise I'm really pleased that that's just how they look so I just wanted to give you some quick ideas obviously you can use the ribbon actually maybe the ribbon would be better for that one I'm just thinking because I've got the room to put the hole punched holes and then I could have a big red bow let's just do it Okay, so this is a piece of two and seven eighths of an inch by one inch. And along the one inch side, you just want to score at half an inch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, so I've just fold and burnish, and I'm going to make this little piece that will go over the top like that, and then put the ribbon through. And I'm thinking I might pull out the blue that's just down there. That could look quite nice, actually. So first of all, you want to add your hole punches. So you want to punch through this piece first. So I'm going to do one there, and then one about there. Okay, so I've come in about five eighths of an inch. Yeah, just about. And then if you sit that piece over the front, fold it over on the back as well, because that will obviously slightly alter its positioning and then I'm just going to mark pencil mark there and there and then again I can just go in here now you just want to punch through okay like so and then you just want to add some glue onto the back piece oh I just realized I've oh you be careful I've just caught the other hole punch at the other end but it's fine this is going to cover it up just wondered then what that mark was okay, then I've got this lovely piece of ribbon so I'm going to go in side the gift box festival and that one there okay and then you want to go through the holes on the tab and then as you close it just pull them a bit more and then just fold it over each time just pulling them it's a really nice way to close up gift bags and things like so and then just while I'm closing it I'm just going to use that peg just so I can kind of get myself going
Okay, so there you go, I've popped a little blue bow at the top which matches the blue in the strip there on the teacup. So I think that looks really, yeah, I like that now. Okay, so there they all are. I think they look great. I really do love these. I'm so pleased with how they've come together. So they're just a very straightforward, you know, bag. There's nothing, you know, too difficult at all about these. It's a, it's a real common style to make, but by adding your stamps and colouring directly onto them, I think completely transforms them and gives them a really, really lovely look. So very pleased with these. I already have the bits and pieces that I need to, to put inside these and then they will be on their way. Some, some will be given by hand as well, but to some friends. So I'm really, yeah, really pleased with these. Also, just with the glossy accents for anybody that's thinking she's not added it, because I haven't yet, but all you do is you want to make sure, just test it on, you know, make sure that it's coming out and there's no like, air bubbles or anything. So there we go. So it's starting to come out. And it will come out very cloudy. So, but once you've popped it onto the surface, don't lift it because then you're going to get air bubbles. So you'll notice I'm not lifting it off at all. I'm just, and I'm not really squeezing it anymore. I'm just moving around what's already on there to create, and it's very, you know, easy to kind of move, but it just creates a really nice effect. And it gives it a slight three, you know, like raised area. So can you see that one there? So again, with this one, once you lay it down, keep it down to avoid any air bubbles. Just follow that all the way around. Like I said, you can just move it to fill in all the gaps and you'll see, you'll know when you filled it all. And I'm going to pop a little dot just on the nose and then I'm going to fill the ears. I don't know why, but I just quite like filling in the ears. And then leave it flat. It doesn't take long to dry as long as you've not gone too heavy with it. But can you see now, so we've got that lovely texture in the glasses. I've used some of the Nouveau White Blizzard on the top there to look like some glittery kind of um, cream on the top of the hot chocolate. And you've got that shine there as well in the, the ears and on the nose. So once it's clear, it will look like that. So you can just see. Really nice, love that effect. I use it loads, especially when I'm doing any kind of underwater things, you would have seen it used a lot. So I will link it below. You can buy a smaller one as well that I think, no, I think this is the medium. I'm sure there's a larger size again, but um, yeah, anyway, I'll try and find those links. I'll try and find the magazine as well. It's a, it's about, I'd say maybe, I think it's only, there's only one more um, issue that's come out since but then since this going out there may well be two but I'll have a look anyway as always I will try and link as much below but I'm just trying to keep this one straight so I don't want to lay it down but thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial if you have please consider subscribing so you get to see more and hit that like button as it's very much appreciated thanks for watching bye